Hello, my name is Dr. Speaker Blower. In this video, I'm showing the plugin Bass Bus. Its main purpose was to be used on bass tracks or on bass bus tracks, where you combine several bass into one. You can see that we have a back view with the signal flow. And then all the controls are in the front. So we start with a display where we can see everything we do. And the meter that uh, meters stereo and mid side levels. Mid side section is here. You can control a minus or plus 6 dB of signal for each of the signals and then you can control the mix of both uh, mid and sides levels analog switch controls the analog mode you see this light that flashes several times per second it means that by those values these two switches or knobs here are being slightly changed uh, and several others. For example, in this one, 120 Hz by uh, crossover filter, probably it is being switch, uh, changing between 115 and 125 Hz. Okay, master switch turns off the plugin. Then mono below knob means that below the frequency you select, signal is mono, above it is stereo. And you control the wideness of the stereo field in this knob. Drive section. Drive section means that you can control the overdrive of three parts of the spectrum separately. You can even listen to just one of those parts with this switch. Uh, you divide three areas with these two knobs. And then down here you have the pressure. It stands for compression. The mix knob that switches between the original signal and the signal processed by the plugin and to finalize the output gain knob that controls the final level so this is a very useful plugin let's hear the sound okay i'm using the sp3 synthesizer to provide bass and this midi file to provide the baseline. Let's go. Original signal.
Yeah.